Do you ever drive by something in your neighborhood that makes you go, huh? Well, that's how we came across this story of an old timey object that we don't see much anymore. One man is hoping people will stop by his yard to make a connection. Here's Sharon Yu. As time goes by, some things just get rarer and rarer to spot. And I Googled and, you know, back to Facebook and Marketplace and search, and they're out there, but nothing that I really like. And I came across this out way west, like Waverly or something. Brian Davis searched for that perfect decoration for his home remodel. Then an idea rang down memory lane. It was like a thing you did growing up. Yeah, oh, I, we still do to this day. And be like, all right, let's call mom, you know? And then you just play that little part of Stevie Wonder. I just called to say, you know, I love you. And then you just hang up. Prank calls and their anonymity. I call. That inspired Davis to install a fully functioning payphone out in his front yard. That goes pretty fast. That's connected to my landline. And at first, Davis had forgotten how to use a payphone. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's right. You have to add four quarters. I think in the day it was a quarter or something or a dime. Hi, Hello. Sharon. <laughs> a throwback to the good old days. The quality is great. When small computers weren't in our pockets and hearing the voice of your loved ones cost you a little something. It's been really lovely, right? It is just so funny when somebody does come to use it. And you don't right. mind having people on your oh, property? Oh gosh, no. I think it's a hoot. I think it's so fun. You'll see them walk over and they're just taking pictures. Some have used the phone. I thought, oh my God, I'm going to call the phone. So it's ringing and the gentleman jumps back out of his car. He runs, he answers it. And I'm like, how do you? And he just loved it. He just thought it was the coolest, funniest thing. Times have changed, but a purpose of a phone hasn't. This little one off Tulip Street in Andover, Minnesota is bringing people together near and far. Just calling to say, I love you. A big rivalry matchup taking place this week on the high school gridiron. Beth is in next with that story.